Matt Brown, it is so nice to see you so happy after a fight like this. Obviously, you know how dangerous Court McGee is. You're both two really battle-tested veterans. When you were going into the preparation for this one, were your expectations that you would knock him out that easily? Um, I don't think you ever expect to knock someone out that easily. Um, but I'll tell you what, you know, 10 seconds into the fight, I started seeing the holes, and I was like, I was like, this is not going to be, you know, he's just, he's, he's on borrowed time right now. Yeah. I've seen it pretty quickly. You know, in, when you come out there to compete every single time, Matt, you bring it. What is the driving force in the gym that allows you to have performances like this? Oh, my God. I don't know. Everybody always asks that. I can't give nobody advice on that. Like, I just love it, you know? Like, I love being here. Like, I told DC, I said, the worst part about this whole thing is when I got to step out of that cage. Like, it, it makes me want to cry having to get out of there. I just want, like, can you just bring another guy in and go again? <laughs> A true competitor, but I would have to say there's probably one good thing about stepping out of the octagon or make that too. Your boys are here with you. How special was that to be able to share not just the performance, but everything afterwards with them? Yeah, it's awesome. They've been coming to my fights for a few years now. Well, a lot of years now. I think they were four when they first came out there, 12 now. So uh, it's always awesome having them and it's going to be a much, uh, it's going to be a great trip back tomorrow. I'm healthy. I can you know, throw the football when we get home or something and yeah, not be limping around. You now tie Derek Lewis for the most knockouts in UFC history. How much did that sit in your mind in the lead up to this one? Because I know people talk to you about it a lot. Yeah, I did my best to block it out because, um, you know, I don't want to get caught up in trying to get the knockout, you know. So everything I worked on in this fight was like not knocking him out, actually. <laughs> um, at least, you know, I shouldn't say that. Like, you know, that's my, always my goal. But, you know, the focus wasn't on the knockout punch. It was on, you know, the small things. Um, fortunately, that led to the knockout, though. Put it all together yeah, to be successful. Training like that more often. Yeah, exactly. So what happens next? Where do we go from here? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm not, um, it's all about my injuries, right? So at this age, I mean, my injuries, they don't come back like they used to, unfortunately. So I'll get home. Again, I'll, I'll get to play football with my kids tomorrow. Hope I don't get hurt doing that. Yeah. That's worse. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there, you know? That's it. Perfect. Well, we cannot wait to see you back in there. Congratulations on making history tonight. Thank you so Thanks. Much. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.